let's go ahead and get two video angles here of Ventura set up in the screen like so. All right, so let's start with this one. Okay, so we're gonna look at the timing of the segmentation that we touched on with you. Um, but before we do that, let's go ahead and look at the entire system of his delivery. Now, this is obviously a slide step controlling the running game. We're gonna see Ventura is not a big dude, right? He's extremely fast twitch, extremely lightning quick arm, and he does a great job of, well, a lot of things in his delivery. Um, but notice the timing of which he separates his hands because he's getting going. Now this is a slide step. Could it, it could vary if he's going to leg lift, but make sure he gets his hands out on time. He's got you know more of a a longer path. It's not really you know long arm or short short arm conversation, but a quite not so much in elbow flexion. So he separates at the timing of which he needs to separate to then allow him to get on time. Right. You can see the, the lead hip going forward. So he puts himself in a good position here. Now he uses a mechanism with his trunk to load his drive leg, right? So whereas his lead hip is kind of moving forward towards his target, he still gives himself time with his trunk and he gives himself load by loading in way of trunk. Now this is a fine line because we don't want to get stuck over the rubber. But um, now the timing of which you're going to see that drive leg knee kind of fold down, ankle eversion, and then this is all going to kind of flip up in unison. So boom, you have hips into rotation, trunk is neutral, he's stretched, right? This is what I call launching from stretch. So you create all this energy. You can see his back foot position now that's going to give us a good indicator of where his hips are. Now he anchors down with the lead foot. And now just look at in terms of the lead leg block and the timing and the position of all of this, right? So you position the pelvis. So then as the hips complete rotation, pelvis rotates over the femur, knee extension, hip extension. See how the trunk is involved now in his acceleration and deceleration? I mean, pretty close to picture perfect. This is another really good visual here. Now this isn't from a slide step anymore. Leg lift, same thing. Lead hip's going to go. Descending move. Trunk tilt. Drive leg load. Now you're going to see the hips rotate while the elbow retracts. Boom. Now look at all that stretch, right? Like that's what we notice about a guy like Ventura is the amount of stretch. Notice how his glove side is being used as a mechanism to help keep his trunk neutral, right? So if our glove side is kind of non-existent, then our trunk's going to kind of want to, you know, rotate. It's not going to be able to stabilize neutral through space if we don't have anything in place that allows that to happen. And obviously there's a stability requirement of that as well. So now you release this energy. So all this built up energy, you release it in the direction of where your task is. And that's home plate, right? So now the trunk's going to pull through and he's going to go get it. His trunk's going to go get his glove side. Boom. You release the tension and you finish like a freaking stud. That's swag. All right, dudes, Robbie Rowe here. Thank you for watching that video. If you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis, you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched if you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys. Much love. God bless. Till next time. See ya. Strike three. You're out.